We have the department have dealt with that guy several times. Um, he never really displayed any violent behavior. We don't, I don't have the answers, and our investigators don't have the answers of what changed on that day. We don't want to get complacent on routine calls because you don't know when that routine call is going to change. I'm a sergeant. Uh, I've been doing this for 19 years. I also have a collateral duty, which means I do something else with this department. I'm on the SWAT team. I have been for 14 years, and I'm a sergeant on the SWAT team, so I'm a team leader for that, too. I was on the one where Jim Snyder was shot and killed on a SWAT call-out. That, uh, that was a very surreal day. He was the first one killed in the line of duty on an incident. We had two armed robbery suspects out of Tempe that did a robbery of a jewelry store. As it turns out, they broke into an apartment, a vacant one, thank goodness, and one of them barricaded up, and the SWAT team was called out. And as a result, we ended up making an entry into one of those apartments, and Jim was the point guy. And uh, as soon as he made entry, the guy started opening fire with an AK-47, and he hit Jim several times, and one in the head, and it killed him instantly. I know for me, and most of the guys that work for me, because we're pretty close, we don't ever walk in the building for our shift that day thinking that's going to be our last one. It's something that on calls you go to has got to be in the back of your mind every time because you just don't know who you're running into, what's going on with that person. If you do a traffic stop to a domestic to a trespass call at Walmart, we're walking into an unknown every time. So when we get calls come across our screen and we get stuff dispatched on the radio, when you start doing this for a while, you can kind of tell what calls are going to be very dangerous and very real. After we geared down and I was actually driving home is when you start thinking about all the things that could have happened and all the things that could have went wrong. But on the flip side, this has been one of the most rewarding jobs that I've ever had. I'm in charge of our FTO program for the Cheddar Police Department, so all brand new officers out of the academy that need to get trained uh, on how to do proper patrol procedures and they go out and they, they, they come to me. This, I, I honestly do make an impact on every officer who comes through our training because they remember me the rest of their careers. They remember their training officer. They remember their whole training environment. Jim Snedeker was one of our officers. He's on the SWAT team. He was a ranger. He was also an FTO. He was one of my FTOs when I first started as a rookie in the 90s, early 97. And uh, oddly enough, we just hired his son who works for me now and is on FTO and is in his first week of training from the academy. He's a very good kid and we're really excited to have him.